with more than 7,000 islands. The Philippines is blessed with exciting, wonderful beaches, some of which are consistently placed in the best, best beach destination in the world. These are from CNN Go, Wiki Travel, and Traviloka. So in this vlog, come with me and we will visit one of the phenomenal beach here in the Philippines. The beach and the islands of El Nido. If you are new here, welcome to Channel Pinoy Seniors, where we discuss seniors' life and retirees, privileges, rights and incentives, health and medical care, and we also do travel vlogs such as this. So if you'd like to travel and see these things, Kindly consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to know the best tips for seniors and retirees and also travel here in the Philippines as they say it's more fun in the Philippines. El Nido. There was a time when only the rich and the famous can afford uh, vacations in these islands. Uh, they're so exclusive because uh, it's not easy to reach El Nido. Uh, there is a small airstrip where only the small planes and private uh, aircraft can land. And if you're coming from Manila, going to uh, flying to Puerto Princesa, the travel time by bus is uh, 9 to 10 hours in rough road. This was the old airport in the 80s, no? Uh, I don't know if you can <laughs> travel through this, no? And they only have a very small uh, aircraft, no? Uh, sometimes it's a private aircraft. So um, this is the departure, I mean the arrival area. But uh, you can also travel uh, from uh, Puerto Princesa, Manila to Puerto Princesa, and travel by land. This will be your um, uh, travel, uh, this will be your land travel uh, buses, no? It will take you 10 to 11 hours in rough road. Uh, I remember uh, in one of my early travels to Palawan, I was chance to um, sit with, uh, sit beside a uh, finance officer in one of these exclusive islands, and he told me, uh, "We don't sell vacations; we make your dreams come true." He said, <laughs> because there are, uh, if you go there, there will be a private uh, maid a butler, you will have your own cook and he said that uh, if you ask how much then you cannot afford it <laughs> but not anymore uh, going to El Nido is much easier uh, the airport is still small but uh, coming from uh, Puerto Princesa it's much easier you can go uh, via van uh, which is six hours to paved road or uh, by bus which I personally prefer, no? it has some more leg room but it's uh, a bit uh, longer because it will, it will be longer uh, trip because uh, it, it, it picks up uh, passengers along the way uh, but not so much, it, it will only take you about 7 hours so I think it's a, a good trip already and you will see the, the, area, the area This is now the new improved airport no? Uh, but I think it's still owned by a private uh, uh, airline company which is Air Swift so I'm not sure whether they also accept uh, the other airlines in this uh, airport but anyway uh, the suggested uh, route would be uh, uh, we would be coming from Manila to Puerto Princesa and then uh, from Puerto Princesa we will take the tricycle uh, tricycle going to the bus and the van terminal now the, uh, the 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 difference between the they, they have the same uh, uh, cost of a fare no about 600 pesos the difference is uh, the van is uh, one hour faster it will take you there for um, I think about six uh, six hours the bus will be around uh, seven hours because uh, it stops uh, more often but uh, the bus has uh, more legroom 
compared to the vans. From, uh, if you reach uh, El, El Nido, uh, from the uh, bus or the van terminal, you can take the tricycle. Uh, there are three places really to go and to stay. No? One is the uh, town center. Uh, I think the name is uh, uh, Buena, Buena Suerte. No? This is the first uh, area to be developed. So there are uh, restaurants, there are hotels. Uh, these are the tour offices. Uh, as they say, no, this is where the action is. No? And then the second one is uh, a Korong Korong. Uh, it's much uh, nicer if you want uh, uh, a more silent place to stay. This is the place. And also the third one is uh, the uh, Kalaan Beach. Also a very, uh, very silent place. No? Uh, it's not far from the city, from the town center. It's about 15 minutes by tricycle. Actually, you can walk. Uh, the best time to go is during summer. Uh, from January, February, March, April until May. Uh, June will be uh, rainy months. So um, I, I don't advise uh, going there in rainy months. The best probably would be January, February and March. But March, April, May would be the high month. And there would be so many people there. The, it's it's uh, relatively safe, no? The crime rate is very low and uh, people are very hospitable. It's also quite cheap. Uh, I think one of the best things uh, that's happening here in the uh, tourist industry in the Philippines is they uh, regulate the uh, tour packages, no? Uh, like in El Nido, there are, uh, I think, A, B, C, D, E, I think there are five tour packages, no, if I'm not mistaken, and they have a they have a standard pricing. They, they, these tour operators cannot uh, price you more than the the suggested uh, price, and they are all the same. Uh, they are all very professional. So um, if you will ask me, you know, um, how many days is the best? Uh, uh, way to travel to or, or enjoy El Nido, I would say uh, four days. No, uh, in this uh, in this blog, uh, I will tell you uh, the way I do it. No, and the way I ask, uh, I I tell my friends to do it uh, on which tours to take and um, which days, and also at the end I will tell you uh, the approximate uh, cost of how much it would uh, you would spend in this uh, four-day stay. Uh, if you are um, been following uh, uh, the blog, no? uh, my last blog is uh, Travel to Puerto Princesa. Uh, I will link the uh, uh, video above so that you will see. So uh, I suggested that uh, from Puerto Princesa, we travel to uh, El Nido. And then probably if you want uh, some more islands, <laughs> Uh, if you're not yet uh, uh, satisfied, no, you can. Uh, we can go and you can come with me because uh, our next video would be Coron, no. But for this time, we'll just settle first to uh, visit the uh, islands of El Nido. Uh, there are a few things that uh, I should tell you for these tours, you know. Uh, you can only do, you can only do one tour in a day. You cannot combine them. So if a tour operator will tell you that uh, you can do two tours in a day, it's not allowed. No? And also, uh, lunch is uh, included in each tour, in all tours, no? lunch is included. And also, uh, you have to book in advance because uh, most of the places that you will visit are uh, nature protected. Uh, there's also one tip that I will tell you, no? I, I'm sure you, you plan to swim, no? So I, it's advisable to bring your goggles, your snorkel, and I always bring my uh, uh, beach, beach shoes. No, uh, it's it's uh, y if you if you have to walk in the beaches, and uh, it, it protects your your feet. So uh, it, it's advisable. No. This is uh, the town proper. Uh, Buena Suerte. 
it's always busy, twenty four seven even at night. So these are the tours, no? The tour A, the main attraction is the Minilok Island and the Big Lagoon. You will be served lunch either in Simisu or Payong Payong. The tour B, the main attraction is a sandbar, no? The island connecting Vigan Island to the mainland. Also, there are so many other tours and also caves. This is one of my my one of my favorite the tour C, no? There's a secret beach, no? They said that this is the inspired Alex Garland is no with the beach. Two D is the Kadlaw Island and small lagoon. Two E. This is what I normally take on the last day. You can either rent a tricycle or van. And it's it's not a beach. It's not a island. No, it's it's an inland tour.
this is my recommended uh, tour for four days no first day coming from uh, Puerto Princesa second day will be uh, tour A the third day will be tour C and the fourth day will be tour E no now after the fourth day uh, you can either and the and the fifth day you can either uh, go back to Puerto Princesa or we can take the um, fast crop going to Coron Oh, did you enjoy our brief four-day tour? Okay, as promised, um, I will tell you the estimate cost of uh, this trip, no? From Puerto Princesa to uh, El Nido, uh, both van and bus uh, is about uh, 600 pesos, no? It's a little more than uh, $10. Now, for each tour, uh, uh, tour A up to tour E, it's about $25 to $30 uh, free lunch no, for every passenger. Uh, the hotel, uh, well, it will really depend on uh, your, your type of hotel, no? but a good, a good quality hotel would cost you around $30 a night. No? Uh, food is very cheap. Um, you know, drinks after night <laughs> is also very cheap. Uh, San Miguel is very cheap. No? So, uh, a good amount would probably about uh, $400 for each person but uh, that that also includes a the, the room uh, for four nights room for a couple no so if, if you're not yet so if you're not yet um, uh, satisfied with the beaches and the uh, island tours uh, come with me next time no uh, we will go to uh, the next island of Palawan, you know, which is Coron. Uh, people ask me if I only have four days, no, uh, which will I go? Which which place will I go? Will it be Coron or El Nido? I will tell you next time, based on my personal experience. Okay, so once again, thank you very much for um, staying with me until the end of this video. But don't forget, no, to subscribe, press like, and share. And also, maybe you can uh, check out the uh, this video that I will show you. No, uh, this is uh, a good video that uh, I hope you will also like. No, again, thank you very much. And as always, magandang buhay po, mga seniors.